Okay, so this is the yin reading, so feminine reading um, for November the 30th until December the 6th. Um, so I'm going to be using a bunch of different decks. And um, if you're wanting to know the name of the decks, you can watch the beginning of the Yang reading where I've actually, I show you um, the books and the authors of the cards. Okay, so I'm not going to list it out again. All right, so I think this is the Witch's Tarot. I can't really remember, so I'm going to use that for the present position. Okay, um, for the foundation, let me just give it a quick shuffle. Okay, so this is Eller Shaw. Okay, so for the past position. Okay, and uh, so this is going to be what the feminine hopes for and is likely to get. Whoa. So a couple of cards just jumped out at me here. Um, I'm just going to pause it real quick. Okay, so the two cards that popped out um, is the book, and that seemed to be a repeated theme with the masculine. Um, at the heart of the Twin Flame reading, um, there was this sense of um, looking for knowledge, um, um, completing the final details, there's this positive movement forward, and here we have um, the Trusted Companion card. So I'm actually going to keep those two cards out. So this is what he, she hopes for and is likely to get. And so um, for the steampunk, this is going to be the near future or crossroads position. Okay, and so yeah, you can probably just fast forward through all this part. And this is a unicorn. So this is going to be what the feminine is resisting. Okay, and this is just a gilded rider weight deck. So this is the internal environment. Let's count how many times I can bang my shoulder or my elbow. Okay, and so let's see here. Um, for the external environment, I'm going to use the Terra Luminati. Okay, so the hermit jumped out, and um, I was kind of picking up that hermit energy in the masculine, but it was more of a, a four swords rather than a hermit. So for the outcome um, that's likely to happen for these three cards here, so this is what the feminine is hoping for and likely likely to get, and this is what she will get. Okay, so call it Baron Reed, um, Wisdom of the Oracle. So this will be for the summary outcome. And the Call It Baron Reed Enchanted Map for the final outcome and the overall energy, which is the card at the bottom of the deck. 
Okay, so from top for the final outcome and the overall energy. Let's put it there. All right. And let me give my cards a shuffle. Okay, so I'm not going to be shuffling them like a regular deck. As I mentioned in the Twin Flame reading, um, somebody was saying I should shuffle my cards longer. Um, they are little pieces or little paintings, so I need to be gentle with them. And I do definitely shuffle them off camera before um, coming online. Okay, so. Um, I leave it to Source to line the cards up for me and trust that there will be a message. Okay, so what is in the Feminine's present position? The Ten of Swords. Wow. So um, this is betrayal, feeling stabbed in the back. There's a Feminine here, hunched over, um, you know, it is stabbing negative thoughts. And I wasn't seeing that in the Twin Flame reading. Um, so the, the the Ten of Wands did show up, not the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Wands showed up in the present past. Um, so there was an energy of completion coming in. And remember, the Three of Swords was in the future, came with the King. So there, you know, there may be... Um, some old wounds um, that are still playing on the feminine's mind. So one confirmation card, Knight of Swords. So again, the Knight of Swords was an energy that, that the masculine was bringing into the union. This also showed up in the near future, I can't remember. But it is an energy of chaos, right? There's no direction. Um, it's fighting. Um, so in the present moment, um, the feminine wants to to move forward um, out of this mental cloud, right? She's putting an end to something and freeing herself, right? The Knight of Swords um, uses a sword to cut away barriers, anything holding uh, one of the candle, or both the candles just went out there, so just so you don't think that the card is catching on fire. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's definitely something that the feminine it has, is releasing from or is putting an ending to, um, and so that she can focus on herself. So what is in the foundation? Wow, the Knight of Wands. So this was the card that the feminine was bringing into the union uh, for the Twin Flame. So as a foundation, there is this energy, this desire and movement forward. Uh, so this is very passionate, uh, powerful energy uh, that is associate, associated with spirituality. So um, I feel that the feminine is moving away from the mental anguish that she has encountered um, and moving forward with this new life. Right, it's um, there was a strong sense that the feminine has really come into this fire power with the Queen of Wands in the past. So, one confirmation card there you go, you can't plan that shit. So, um, another synchronicity the Queen of Wands keeps showing up uh, in the past. This is also showing up in the resisting position for the masculine. So, it is this extroverted powerful energy that might be causing some fear in the masculine um, but you know it this is such triumphant victorious um, powerful energy um, you know it is completely opposite from what you're seeing in the present moment with that ten of swords right so it was a hard battle. You felt betrayed, right? You moved forward with this confidence and in the present moment you're wounded um, and there's a sense of movement away from that negative. Okay, so what's in the p past position? 
judgment. Wow, the grand awakening. So um, you made a judgment call. You made a decision. This shows that you really put a lot of um, consideration into your next plan of action. This is also awakening, wake up call, the trumpet sounding. So it's like you're being called to action. Um, you're being called to pick yourself up out of that, the dirt, right? Brush off the dirt and get back up on that horse once again. So you are learning something. Uh, this card also means uh, that you're realizing your entire, entire life is an illusion and that you know all these stories that you've been telling yourself this, these stories that create your identity isn't real um, and so it's there's a stripping away of falsehood right so I feel that the feminine is purging um, any final fears so one confirmation card well the king of cups okay so the feminine may have discovered a truth about the masculine the king of cups is water energy and this is someone who's very deeply loving pure love open love balanced love um, and so this was actually coming in as a final outcome this is the energy that the masculine was moving towards. Um, he wants to be with the Queen of Cups as the King of Cups, right? So there's this deep bond and love um, that is showing up in the past. So you've gained this clarity, these you've had these epiphanies, these moments of illumination that has to do with the King of Cups, the one that you love very deeply. And you know, maybe you're feeling betrayed by him. Maybe there are some words that we're cutting, right, with the king, with the Knight of Swords. Um, so I'm almost feeling like maybe you learned some truths about him. Some illusions were were discovered. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull one card so we can move on to, through the reading with a little bit more fluidity. Um, what do you mean by the Ten of Swords here? There's there's beautiful energy coming in from the past, but in the present moment, the feminine is really feeling a lot of pain. You know, as what she hopes and fears, we kind of went through this already, right? There's this, you know, this card showed up or has been showing up quite a bit. Um, the sense of friendship, bond, commitment. Um, you know, a dog is a loyal friend, right? So you can tell your friend anything. So there's... The feminine wants this connection back in her life. And the book is wisdom. So you hold this book of knowledge. And interesting enough, um, in the, the masculine's, uh, for the yang reading, the masculine's external environment, there was a key. So if you look at this book, there's a little keyhole there. So um, there's a feeling that you want to unlock this wisdom. You want to discover some knowledge you want your friend you want to work together um, and it's almost like build this book of knowledge together like write a book together right it's like almost like a romance novel in a way um, you know twin flame connections could feel almost like a movie, like it isn't real. You know, some of the synchronicities that happen only happen in movies. Okay, so what do you mean by the Ten of Swords spirit? I'm using the Osho Zen here for additional clarification. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles, ordinariness. So this is boredom, really, or just finding peace in everyday life so it's almost like she's working in order to keep her mind occupied so she doesn't have to think about 
these negative thoughts. But remember, the ten is an ending, so she might be coming out of this dark night of the soul, or she's put a lot of effort into something that didn't work out, and now she's picking herself up and, and moving on. Um, yeah, I'm almost feeling a sense of avoidance, you know, throwing herself into work so she doesn't have to think about um, possibly a betrayal that happened in the past. Okay, so anyway. Um, so sometimes this is ordinariness. Sometimes it happens when you become one. In some rare moment, watch the ocean, uh, the tremendous wildness of it, and suddenly you forget your split, your schizophrenia. You relax, or moving in the Himalayas, seeing the virgin snow on the Himalayan peaks. Suddenly a coolness surrounds you, and you need not be false, because there is no other human being false too. You fall together or listening to beautiful music. You fall together whenever, in whatever situation, you become one. A peace, a happiness, a bliss surrounds you, arises in you. You feel fulfilled. There is no need to wait for these moments. These moments can become your natural life. These extraordinary moments can become ordinary moments. That is the whole effort of Zen. You can live an extraordinary life in the very ordinary life. Cutting wood, chopping wood, carrying water from the well. You can be tremendously at ease with yourself, cleaning the floor, cooking food, washing the clothes. You can be perfectly at ease because the whole question is of you doing your action totally, enjoying, delighting in it. Um, so, you know, in the feminine's present position for the Twin Flame reading, there was patience. The temperance card and this card is all about just being feeling delighted and anything that you're doing right there's um, things don't have to be passionate and hard won all the time so um, I pulled this as a clarifier for the ten of swords you know so I really feel that the feminine is kind of struggling possibly with the mind um, picking herself up, brushing off the dirt, and moving on. Um, and it's almost like just not being willing to put any more effort or work into something that she feels is going absolutely nowhere. There's no direction. Every time she tries to to do something, it, it doesn't work for her, and she's betrayed, and so she's had enough. Um, she's finding pleasure in everyday things and she's pursuing her own light within. She's made some realizations about the masculine, how maybe he might have been leading her along, promising her his heart and feeling betrayed as a result, right? Um, there's like this abandonment energy coming from this Ten of Swords here. Right, look at her. So I feel like this is like la di da, you know, moving on. Um, I am this, I am powerful. Right, so I'm going to pull one card as a clarifier for those two up there. The Knight of Wands again. Okay, so this is actively pursuing your passion. Um, so it's getting on that horse once again, you know, leaving the past behind. Yes, you don't have your your best friend at your side, even though you desire this connection. Um, there's a movement away from the need to have your best bud with you, right? Um, there's a sense that maybe you depended on him too many times and it just never worked out right so um self-love so what is in the near future or crossroads is the seven of cups so this is a feeling of confusion not knowing which road to take knowing what you want not knowing how to get there um so one card as a clarifier wow high priest so 
this was the energy that the feminine was bringing in to the union in the present moment, but it was a clarifier card. And I kept on saying high priestess, high priestess, right? So there was this energy of the feminine becoming a spiritual leader. Crown chakra activation here. So follow your heart, but don't get lost in memories of the past. Don't get lost in fantasy and dreams. This is what's real. You have the power to make changes in the world, to lead others out of the darkness, right? So I really see you actively pursuing your passion and, and spirituality, like being that light onto others to guide them out of the dark. So what are you resisting? You're resisting the Queen of Swords. So you're resisting communicating or you're resisting um, using the sword to com completely cut yourself off from whoever or whatever is making you feel this way, right? The Queen of Swords would not be in this position. She sees through bullshit before it even happens, right? And she is not a victim. Although she's been wounded in the past, um, her persona or the, her approach is one from a, a mother loving energy, but she can still have cutting words. So the, it's in a resisting position. So you are resisting embodying this energy. So the Queen of Swords showed up twice in the masculine side for the Twin Flame reading. So there's, there's this desire to communicate on the masculine side. Um, so, you know, I almost feel like you are resisting communicating or cutting off contact or you need to cut away from so from something in the present moment, but you're resisting doing that. So one card is a clarifier. Page of Cups. So there we go. This is confirmation that it has to do with communication. The Page of Cups is somebody who communicates love who desires a new beginning of love. Um, and so the Queen of Swords is not somebody who's going to actively send out loving messages or vibrations into the universe. She's completely closed off uh, in protective mode, right? So you can kind of feel that energy uh, surfacing in the Twin Flame reading. So I definitely feel synchronicity on in every reading so far. You're definitely related. Okay, so what is in the feminine's internal environment? Wow, there you are, girls, the Queen of Cups. Um, so confirmation, um, embody that loving energy, you know, unconditional love, gentle, nurturing, um, committed. Um, the uh, Queen of Cups is also someone who's intuitive, psychic ability. So, um, a lot of Queen qualities being expressed here. A lot of Knight as well, which is movement forward. So, the Hermit. Okay, so the Hermit is a clarifying card for the Queen of Cups. So, here we have the Queen of Cups looking at the Hermit. And in the herm, uh, sorry, the the feminine's external environment is the hermit. So another very cool synchronicity. So the feminine is looking at the hermit, or this could be her energy as well. Um, but the hermit is somebody who is in solitude, who detaches. Um, but and I'm really feeling that that detachment from the feminine. No doubt about it. She's she's done with it. She's the one who's actively seeking out solitude. She's the one who is not communicating. She is the one that is moving away um, from the masculine, right? The, the King of Cups is in the past position. She's been betrayed by him, right? She doesn't know if she wants to, to welcome him in, back into her life or even reach out. Um, yeah, I feel there's that confusion and 
the way through the confusion is this illumination, right? This this spirituality that's vibrancy that's pushing her forward. Uh, and in the twin flame reading, there was a fear of that from the masculine. Right? He doesn't fully understand or appreciate it, pro um, possibly, I don't know. But the hermit um, is one who is detached from the 3D conditionings, stories. They are not bound by the 3D reality. So the feminine, I believe, is, is seeking solitude. Um, notice how the hermit here and the feminine queen are looking at each other. Um, this masculine energy is holding up the lantern. So he's using this wise, um, this wisdom and illuminating this love of the feminine. So again, there's this synchronicity of the, the masculine is seeing the feminine um, and seeing how much he loves her in this solitude space. Um, so I'll put one clarifier for the hermit and the external. So the tower, there you go. Another crazy synchronicity. The masculine kept getting the tower card. Um, so you'll have to read but, uh, or you'll have to watch both readings, the, the masculine reading and the twin flame, to really see how this entire reading is, comes together. So the tower is the house of cards, sudden disruption. So you can see how the masculine is in this pure state of consciousness as the tower um, is changing his reality. And what's helping him through this transformation and destruction is the thought of the Queen of Cups. He's thinking of the Queen of Cups as he's in solitude. Okay, so what is the outcome of these three cards is strength, courage. So the strength card was actually the overall energy for the Twin Flame reading. So it is a very gentle, nurturing, loving, kind energy. So this is taming the beast within. So the feminine, um, instead of being the queen of swords who completely cuts off contact, um, becomes guarded and protected, um, you know, embody this strength, this beautiful, gentle energy. So I'm going to read this card to you. So... Okay. So this card shows a small wildflower that has met the challenge of the rocks and stones in its path uh, to emerge into the light of day, surrounded by an aura of bright golden light. It express or sorry, it exposes the majesty of its tiny self. Unashamed, it is equal to the brightest sun. When we are faced with a diff with a very difficult situation. We have a choice. We can either be resentful and try to find somebody t or something to blame for the hardship, or we can face a challenge and grow. The flower shows us the way as its passion for life leads it out of the darkness and into the light. There is no point fighting against the challenges of life or trying to avoid or deny them. They are there, and if the seed is to become the flower, we must go through them. Be courageous enough to grow into the flower you were meant to be. Oh, that's beautiful. So, yeah, it's, you know, again, it's, it's really pulling me back to this energy of betrayal and having the courage and the strength to pick yourself back up and, um, and grow you know, flourish in environments that you wouldn't necessarily think that you could flourish in. So one confirmation card, the Nine of Wands. Wow. So this is the wounded warrior. Somebody has been knocked down time and time again, bruised, battered, scars, wanting to give up and, and walk away. Right. And I really do feel that vibration there with that Eight of Pentacles. You know, just I want to move on or I'm not going to be involved in, in this kind of energy anymore. Right. There's that wake up call. So, um, the nine of wands is also spiritual strength, knowing you have that, that 
last final push within you not to give up have that courage to give it a final push all right so what is the summary outcome wow the tribe oh my god so this was the final outcome for the masculine reading Okay, so this is community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. So the meaning is you're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads and times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of le learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is a part of that dance, yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in a perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. Um, so you're seeking out your tribe your your soulmate your twin flame um but there is solitude here and that's the vibration that you're feeling is solitude um and you're you're feeling betrayed by it to a certain degree you're, you're giving your heart and you just feel like you're you're being hurt so you're closing yourself off and you want to find other people that are like you. So I'm just going to pull one clarifier. So the magician, nice. The master manifester. So tapping into the collective, manifesting this reality is what you desire. Um, that is what you've always wanted, right? And this is that energy that is in your field. So um, the magician is very powerful. They can manifest their, three, their thoughts into the 3D reality. So this is saying that you have all the tools available, you have the opportunity available to create a different reality for yourself. Um, and so, yeah, that's what's coming towards you. So what is the final outcome? J Peaks of joy, awesome. Okay, so it says, your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with your results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement, and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by your true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. All right, so I love this as a final outcome considering your present moment. Where do you want to be? All right, so it is a definite shift. So the clarifier is the Nine of Pentacles. Nice. So this is independence, freedom, really, financial freedom. It is an arrival card, the nine. You're nearing the completion. You're almost at the ten of pentacles. And because that ending is so close, you just can't contain your peaks of joyness. So, yeah, this is harvest, ripeness. The fruit is ready to drop from the branches. So, um tap into that power girls because abundance is on is what on its way okay and pursue that as well right we, that knight of wands is is very similar vibration of the 33 uh, peaks of joy throwing yourself in to you know what you want this creative energy this inspirational energy 
So what is the overall energy of the reading? Okay, so it was Wizard of Awareness, but in reverse. So let me read that for you. So it is number three. A lot of threes. Hold on one minute. And I was just noticing uh, the Wizard of Awareness, right? It's that old wise soul, repeated energy of the book, right? He holds that book of wisdom. And same thing with the, the hermits here. There is this wisdom here. So overall energy, the, what was that again? Three? Yeah, three in reverse. Okay, so... Oh, sorry. Okay, so, Wizard of Awareness, your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Okay, so in reverse, the Wizard of Awareness comes to you in this position to warn you that too much force behind a desire or a specific outcome robs you of your true and full experience. Step back, take your energy away from the situation and focus on gratitude for ever changing condition of your life. Are you perhaps trying to control the outcome of something because you don't trust in your highest good? Meditate, be still, and your answer will come without any effort on your part. Be neutral observer and you'll see how this moment is but a small marker on the map of your life's journey. Wow. Right? So be the observer. You're resisting being in that position. Um, you know, that knight of wands keeps coming up. So this is that desire to move forward. And so spirit wants you to step back. Be the hermit. Don't actively pursue anything. Um, and whatever answers you're looking for will come to you. Okay? So, um, yeah. Be in that unconditional love and love will surround you. So, I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaid. So, this will be a final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the yin or feminine energy? Please. That one. Uh, Tiki Mermaid. Alright. So, a volcano is about to erupt. So, that kind of connects to this vibration over here, right? There's a lot of fiery, passionate energy in the, the past. And it's almost like it's being suppressed or pushed away um, but you can't do that you cannot suppress that energy it will build and it will explode so it's almost like you can feel that pressure um, building and you are you want to get away from it right um, you need to get out into the world. You need to do the things that you've always wanted to do. You feel like you're being held back. Things, um, you know, you're turning your attention away to pursue um, your higher calling, really. Okay, so the Tiki Mermaid. Below the tranquil surface of the azure waveless sea, bruise an ever rising tempest, shaking, quaking to break free. Stifling, sweaty, hot, and torrid, even paradise feels for it. Remove the cork, let loose the steam, release your passion with a scream. So a tropical beauty lounges before a tiki god and an offering of fresh fruit, seemingly unaware of a volcano smoldering in the distance. In spite of her lush surroundings, the mermaid's count, um, countenance reflects internal dissatisfaction. So the meaning is get ready to erupt. Powerful forces have been building up inside of you for some time now. You feel them bubbling beneath the surface, but you have somehow managed to keep them all bottled up. This cannot last for much longer, and sooner or later you will have to let loose. Anger, frustration, heartache, despair, everything you have been squishing is poised to erupt in a big way. 
like the volcano, this is a volatile situation, one that cannot be contained or controlled. What's inside is determined to come out. Such a loss of control can be scary and unpredictable, but try not to be alarmed. Once the ashes clear away, this breakthrough will ultimately bring you a deeper sense of well-being and peace. So yeah, I feel that the feminine is really desiring just to be free, break away. I got to be free. I can't remember what song that is, but it's an oldie. Um, what is it, Van Halen? No, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, so pour that energy into positive stuff. Pick up a paintbrush. You know, if you have an invention or an idea, go after it. Um, because, you, you know, you, you're you really in your your element, in your zone, when you're doing what you love. Okay, so um, if you have to walk away from a masculine who you love very deeply, then that's what needs to happen. Um, because I feel like it's holding you back. Um, there's so many possibilities out there. So embrace those joys. Okay, so I hope this helped and I'm sending you massive love and hugs. Um, and yeah, if, um, if you want to show your love, just, uh, hit the sub button and thank you for liking and sharing. All right. Love you girls. Cheers.